backpack He's always there for you Zap Pack Only on YouTube Zap Pack What will he do next? Zap Pack Let's find out Cause it's on with the show Hey guys, Zach here, coming at you with another video. So as most of you know, I love the Nintendo Switch. As much as I rant about how bad the online service is and how much I refuse to buy the online service until it gets better, I still love the Switch, and I have quite a few games for the system. Now, I don't have as much as, let's say, RGT85, because he buys every single game in the library, basically. Same with 8-Bit Eric and beat -em ups But I still have a decent amount of games, and this is only my physical games. Um, I have quite a few digital games as well, and I figured that I might as well go through my collection and talk about each game and what I think about it. Um, now, I haven't played, um, well, I mean, I basically have played every single game, but I've, I haven't beaten every game. So, bear that in mind when I share my opinions about the games. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. Oh, and I'm also going to be um, talking about games that I do want that are already out in the future. Um, and if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling, uh, grateful, I guess, quote unquote, um, I might also share games that are coming out that I want, and, you know, like, cause there's quite a few games that I haven't talked about, really, that I want when they come out, and it'll be physical, I don't, I don't, I, I, I prefer physical media, I prefer having physical games, I'll only buy a game digitally if it doesn't exist physically, so, yeah, let's get started. So the first game I'm gonna talk about here is Mario Tennis Aces. Um, sorry about the glare. Can't, I don't know how to fix that. But anyways, Mario Tennis Aces, um, it's a pretty good game. Um, the thing with Mario Tennis Aces, right, I like the gameplay, I like how the game plays, but I personally don't think there's enough beefy content in there to really make it worthwhile. I thought this was going to be the biggest and best Mario Tennis game, and I think it really is in terms of gameplay and the courts, because there's really good courts and there's really good, you know, like, character selection and gameplay. But the story mode is relatively lacking, and the fact that you can't, like, exactly choose what court you want to play, that kind of really bothers me. Like, I love Luigi's Mansion, so I always want to play on the Haunted Mansion court. But you have to, like, switch off, all, like, you, like, you have to switch off playing on the other courts, and I don't know, that just, I don't like that. I just want to be like, select your character, pick your court, and then pick how you want to play, like, the sets and all that stuff, and then play. That's how I like to play, but I guess Nintendo wants to overcomplicate things, or Camelot, whoever, you know, whoever made that decision. So, yeah, Mario Tennis Aces. It is a good game. I just recommend waiting for a price drop. Next up here is Super Mario Odyssey. What can be said about this game that hasn't already been said? In my opinion, it is the best Mario 3D platformer, um, and that's saying something because I love Super Mario Sunshine, but this game blows that out of the water. I really, really love this game. I thought the hat gimmick was going to be really stupid at first. I was very skeptical about it, but after playing it and beating it, it is a great experience. I, I cannot recommend this game enough to anyone who's a 3D Mario fan. It really takes uh, 3D Mario back to its simpler roots while expanding on it and making newer things. It's it, it's like it's like the sunshine, right? Super Mario's, cause Super Mario's sunshine adds its own gimmick. Then Super Mario Galaxy added its own gimmick, and this game kind of does the same. It really more so takes after Mario 64, because there's no, like, flood gimmick, you know? There's no uh, outer space gimmick, but it's just 3D Mario with a cap, you know, gimmick. So, I can't recommend this game enough. Pick it up now if you don't have it. I don't know, I, I don't know how you haven't played it, but it's a great game. Great game. Next up here is the Resident Evil Revelations Collection. Um, now, since I don't have a micro SD card, I don't have Revelations 2 on my Switch yet, but I have played a bit of Revelations 1. It's Resident Evil Revelations, just like it was before, and I really like the Re I, I really like the Revelations games, so maybe I'm biased here, but I think it looks really good on the Switch. I think, you know, just being able, like, I know you can play it portable on the 3DS, but having that bigger screen, that better quality screen, being able to play this game portable and, and getting the second one, it's amazing. Um, it will hold me over until we get another Resident Evil on the Switch, which I think is inevitable. I personally can see Resident Evil 4 coming to the Switch. Um, and they even tried Resident Evil 7, um, but only in Japan. So, 
hopefully we get more Resident Evil, but until then, this will hold me over because it is a really good game. Next up here is Little Nightmares, the complete edition. Now, this is only available in the PAL regions, um, you know, the physical version at least. Um, and I really like this game. It, it is an indie game, you know, which is on the eShop, but like I said, it is available physically in the PAL regions. It is cheaper, you know, I think I got it for like 30 or 40 bucks shipped from the UK. And I think it's a great little puzzle game. Uh, I like the aesthetic, the graphics, the, the art style is really, really good. I like that creepy art style. And it's definitely a game worth picking up. I haven't beaten it yet, but I think I'm about halfway through, and it's a really good game. Next up here is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, now, I, lo I love Mario Kart 8. I absolutely love it. Um, it's just that I feel like they should have added more. And that's I know that's like... So, like, I feel like that's greedy to say that they should add more to a game that already had so much content. But, I mean, yes, they added a few more characters and they added a proper battle mode. But, I don't know. I just feel like this game should have more to be replayable. I th there have been rumors about DLC coming to this game, which I'll definitely buy. So, um, we'll have to wait and see on that. But I do think this game is really good. Don't get me wrong. This game is amazing. I think it's the best Mario Kart that there is. Um... But I wish there was more content. But that's my only complaint. I still love this game. If you if you ha if you don't have this game, this is another that I would definitely recommend. Next up here is Super Bomberman R. One of the right, yes, Super Bomberman R. One of the first games I picked up on the Switch because there was nothing else out. There was absolutely jack shit out for the Switch, and uh, I got this with uh, my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, but uh, this game's okay. I think it lacks. Um, I don't know what it lacks. There's just something there that doesn't make it exactly replayable for me. I I, I I don't know. I mean, it's a fun game. It's a good Bomberman game. But there's something missing. There's something that's not there. I just can't put my, my tongue on it. If that's, Is that the saying? Can't put my finger on it? Can't put my tongue on it? I think it's finger. Might be finger, not tongue. So, yeah. Next up here is Human Fall Flat. This is from Super Rare Games. Um, I've always wanted, I wanted to try this game out, um, but, and then when I heard it, like, you know, I didn't, I just didn't want to buy it, like, you know, it's, it's like one of those games where it's like, you want to try it, but you just don't want to buy it, but then when I saw it physical, I was like, okay, I'll buy it. Um, it's kind of a, it's a 3D puzzle game, um, uh, with, with unique physics, um, that's all I can really say, um, the game's fun, it's way better if you have a friend, which I have none, but, um, it's still one of those games that if you have friends and you like 2D, or 2D, 3D puzzle games, uh, this could be a game for you. And I think they still have it on Super Rare's website, but it's very limited quantities. So if you think you'd want to play it, buy it physically, go to Super Rare Games, get it now before they run out. I think there's only 5,000 copies. So, yeah, so, and if, if they run out, you can still get it on the eShop. Next up here is Disgaea 5. Um, honestly, I haven't played too much of this one. I, 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 I you know, I, I did play it a little bit. I played like maybe an hour or so. And it's fun. I mean, I just never got grasped into it. I am very picky when it comes to RPGs. And, um, you know, I can't say much about this one. I, it looks good. It plays well. It's just, I don't know the story that well. So, I personally can't say much. But if you're a fan of the Disgaea series... I thought it played really good. It looks really good. So, if you like Disgaea, you could definitely pick this game up. Next up here is Ellie Noir. Um, personally, I haven't played too much of this game yet, mainly because I have a micro SD card and there's like a big download requirement. So I have really have to wait to play this game, and I really want to play this game because it's a game style that I think I would really like. It's like a like a mystery crime solving game. Um, it's like if you mixed up like GTA Five or a GTA game with some sort of like crime solving game um because it has it looks like gta you drive around and all that stuff but um it's you're you're a detective and um i really want to play this game so bad but i can't right now because i need the micro sd card so i'll wait on that um but i heard that it runs kind of iffy on the switch but maybe they've put up patches for it i don't know the game has been out for a while i think about a year so they could have patched it up um because I haven't really heard any complaints about it, but it's L.A. Noir. Um, everyone says that this game is really good, so it's probably just as good on the Switch. Next up is Splatoon 2. I'm using the alternate cover art, because um, I like switching the cover art sometimes. Um, then the Splatoon 2, um, it's a great game, uh, but now that it requires online, um, you know, if, if 
or like sorry, like an online membership, which costs twenty dollars a year. If that's not for you, then I wouldn't recommend this game simply because there's not much else to do that isn't online required. But if you're gonna get the online, or if you have the online, then it's definitely a great game for you to play. The the um the the turf war mode is always my favorite, always my go to. But the salmon run is also ridiculously fun when it's available. Um, I just think they should make it available, you know, whenever you want. But you know, that's just me, I guess. But yeah, Salmon Run, definitely a really, really good one if you... Did I say Salmon Run? I meant Splatoon 2, I was reading the cover. Splatoon 2 is definitely a really good one if you like shooters and you're kind of missing that fix on the Switch. Splatoon is actually a really, really good one. Speaking of shooters, we got Doom. Um, I think Doom is really, really good. Um, it's it, it, For some reason, when I played it, um, it messed with my brain a little bit in terms of like I felt a little bit motion sickness, but that could just be me. I could have just been having a bad day. But Doom is very fun. It's it's just as graphic as it is on the other systems. It's crazy. It's and I'm excited that the sequel is actually coming out for the Switch. Um, that's why I'm loving Bethesda's support for the Switch because Bethesda are just Bethesda and Square Enix are just helping the Switch out, and I am absolutely happy that that's the case. And I cannot wait for the sequel to come out because I really need to play through this game more. I need to actually beat it. Because it's a fun game. And it's a shooter that I actually really like. Because I'm not huge on first-person shooters. So, Doom is definitely a good one. Next up, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Wow. My first ever Switch game and the first uh, Zelda game that I've ever beaten. Holy cow, is this game amazing. I absolutely love this game. Um, you know, like I like Majora's Mask for its own reasons. I like the aesthetic of it. But I love the gameplay of Breath of the Wild. It, to me, it's so engaging. It's so fun. I've never personally been able to sit through and beat a whole entire Zelda game. Now, I know most of you guys who watch my channel are Nintendo fans. So you're probably like, what? You've never beaten a Zelda game? No. Because like, I never cared to. I mean, I've played a lot of them. I've played Link to the Past, Link Between Worlds, uh, Ocarina of Time. Yes, I played Ocarina of Time and I didn't beat it. Uh, Majora's Mask, um, I played a little bit of Twilight Princess, and I just, you know, I just never gotten to be in them, because I just, it was like, I don't have any reason to return, I don't like it that much. Yes, I don't like Ocarina of Time that much. Don't, don't crucify me, but that's my opinion. Ocarina of Time's overrated, but, my opinion. But no, this game, in my opinion, is way better than Ocarina of Time. Again, personal opinion. And... I don't know, it's just a great game. I absolutely loved it. Like I said, beat it. I got all four Divine Beasts. I I didn't get every single shrine, but I got most shrines to where like I had like thirteen or fourteen hearts or something like that. So I think I think I got around about like a hundred something. I don't know, but um the shrines are pretty difficult as well, raring in difficulty. Um and I thought the game's just really good, in my personal opinion. Next up here is Has Been Heroes. This is the GameStop exclusive game, and I'll be honest, I I don't even think I've even played this game. I think this is the only game on the Switch, besides L.A. Noir, that I've ever played. I I just, I don't know. Like, I got it because, again, it was at the time where the Switch didn't have much out. And everyone was like, oh, this game's kind of fun. So I picked it up, and I was so busy with Breath of the Wild that I just never got around to this game. And, you know, after that, you know, of course, we had Super Mario Odyssey come out and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So I just never got to this game. And, um... And I can't say it's unfortunate because not many people have really praised this game. They always say it's okay, but, you know, has been heroes. Uh, I got nothing to say about it. Lego The Incredibles. Um, now, this game is actually good fun. I actually really like this game. I'm not a huge fan of the Lego games, but, I mean, I can't say that because it has to be the properties that I like. Like the Lego Star Wars games or the Lego, um, I think it had Lego Lord of the Rings, stuff like that. I personally didn't care for those because they're not properties that I particularly enjoy. But Lego Harry Potter I really like, which is coming out, which I'll talk about later. Um, and Lego The Incredibles came out, and I am very happy. I'm very happy that I picked this game up. Because, you know, it's very uh, faithful, and it has both movies that you can play through. So that's awesome. It's not just the first one, not just the second one. It's both. I would have preferred, like, an actual, like, non-Lego version of The Incredibles 2 as a video game. But nevertheless, this is still really fun. I think the price dropped dramatically on this game. So this game isn't a $60 game. This is like already a $30 game. It's already been out a couple months. So if you want a good Lego game, I'd actually really recommend this one. Especially if you are if you like The Incredibles and you grew up on it like I did. I think it's a really good buy. 
And lastly, for the physical one, is The Binding of Isaac Averbrook. I actually freaking love this game. This I, I don't know. I love this game. Maybe it's the simplicity. Maybe it's the difficulty. I don't know. But I absolutely love this game. You know, it's such an easy, just pick up and play a game. You can play a few rounds, and just if you lose, like I do all the time, like I've never beaten it. It's just such a good game. I highly recommend it. If you haven't played it, I think it's pretty cheap. And it even comes with a manual. You know, it, it, it's a, it's really good. Because um, I think, who is it called? Nicholas? Yeah, Nicholas, or however you say it. Um, they've released multiple indie games physically, and they include manuals with them. And it's really, really cool. I don't know why they stopped doing manuals. Maybe for paper reasons? I don't know. But, nevertheless, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth plus... Highly, highly, highly recommend it. And I guess I'll give this little thing here. Um, obviously, um, I, I, <laughs> I'm probably going to upload this on Tuesday. Um, so, uh, this Friday, uh, Super Mario Party is coming out, and I already have that pre-ordered. So, you'll, I'll be getting that, you know, this, this weekend. But, yeah. Just thought I'd point that out. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys the digital games that I've got on the Switch. Um, I have quite a few. Um, I mean, is there a way I can, like, make it bigger? I don't think, I don't think there is. Excuse me. Um, but I have Fortnite, as you can see at the top. I hardly ever play it. Um, then a little bit to the left, or is it, no, to the right, sorry. Um, there's Minecraft and 60 Seconds. Then down below, there's Fast RMX. Um, there's the Fallout Shelters game, which I hardly played. There's Ukulele. Ukulele is actually pretty fun. Um, and the last one, for some reason, I picked up Uno. I picked up Uno. Because it was like a $5 game, so I was like, why not? Um, but that's that's all I got in terms of digital games. Um, I downloaded the NES app in case I decided to... Um, in case I decided to get the online eventually. Um, but... Yeah, that's all the games I have. Um, so I think I have probably around 25 or 20, 20 to 25 games. Um, so it's not a lot, but it's not a little either. I definitely have a, like a decent little Switch collection go, uh, growing. Um, so let's talk about games that I want. So I'm going to split this into two, two different categories. Games that I want that are already out that I just don't have. And then we're going to talk about games that are, that are coming out and that have been confirmed that, you know, just obviously haven't come out yet, so I can't get them yet. For games that have come out, I definitely want the Crash Insane Trilogy. Um, I, I've i never played the Crash games when I was a kid. I know, Crucify Me. or I, never, I should say I never played the original trilogy. Because um, I never had a PS1. I I only grew up with an N64, uh, an original Xbox, and a GameCube. And, uh, well, and Game Boy Advance. But um, I played the Twin, Twin Sanity, I think it was called, on the original Xbox. Which is still my favorite Crash game because I grew up on it. But, um... Yeah, I definitely want to play Crash and the Insane Trilogy and get that on my Switch. Maybe a little remastered Twin Sanity. I don't know. That would be awesome. Come on, you guys. Torture Bob, I think it is, that uh, do the Crash games. You can do it. Or it's Naughty Dog. No, it's not Naughty Dog. What am I talking about? I think it's Torture Bob. Or do they do Spyro? I don't know. Nevertheless, do it. Twin Sanity. But uh, Insane Trilogy, that'd be confusing. Twin Sanity and Insane Trilogy? Wow. But yeah, Insane Trilogy, I definitely want it. Skyrim. Um, this is another classic game that I've never played. I've never played Skyrim. I, I've just never played it. So I think to get it on the Switch would be super, super cool. Um, it's Skyrim. Not much really I could say. Um, Mario and Rabbids, uh, Kingdom Battle, I think it's called. Um, this is a game that I just, I, I want, but I just don't want to spend the money on because, because of the type of game that it is, I don't know if I'll like it. So I'm really waiting for like a price drop or to ask for it as a gift or something, simply because I don't know if I'll like it. I don't know, you know, it, it looks fun, but I just don't know if it's my type of game. Uh, but it is a game that I do want to try, definitely. I think those are the only three games that I really want. And like I said, these are all physical games, games that are out physically. Like there's a lot of games that are out that are, that are digital that I want, um, but you know, I I I I want physical games. I I can't help it. I want to hold out. Especially on, on a game like Outlast. But, um, I'm going to talk about now games that are coming out that I do really want. I'm going to kind of try and go in order of date. Um, so that in case you guys um, want some of these games, I can make it a little clear when these games are coming out. 
Uh, well, first, I'm, I'm going to throw in Super Mario Party because I don't have it yet, but Super Mario Party, everyone knows I want that. Yeah, so that's that. Next up, I think it's October 30th. I think it is. The Lego Harry Potter collection is coming out. Uh, it's been out on PS4 for about a year. Uh, I think it's, So I think it's kind of like Crash where they had like a time exclusivity to it. So now Xbox One and Switch are getting it. And I like Lego Harry Potter. And I've only ever played the handheld versions. I've only ever played the DS and 3DS versions of the Lego Harry Potter games. So I think it brings the console versions to Nintendo. Um, or to the, to the Switch. So I'll be able to play the console versions of those games for the first time. So it's kind of new. But kind of not at the same time. Because uh, I think the console version are a little bit different than the handheld version. So it is pretty cool to play the handheld version. Or the console version, sorry. Of that. For me, at least. In November, I know that um, Bendy and the Ink Machine is coming out. And it is coming out physically. And I have figured out that it is only coming out physically in the UK. Kind of like, uh, I think it was Little Nightmares that I pointed out earlier you did. Um, I think it's actually the same website that I looked at. But it's only $25. So, Betty and the Ink Machine, I believe it's all five chapters for $25. I'm definitely going to pick that up. Um, it, it's physical, um, you know, it is imported, but, you know, $25 for an imported game that's physical, I don't see the problem with that. I'm definitely picking up Bendy and the Ink Machine. And um, uh, later this week, I'm going to be talking about indie games on the Switch that I really like, and that is actually one of them. So, I can't wait to pick that game up and play it. Something I'm still debating... On Pokemon, Let's Go Pikachu, and Let's Go Eevee. Here's the thing, right? P so many people are hating on the game, right? So, I, I can't say shit, because I kind of did the same thing with Luigi's Mansion, right? When they when they said that Luigi's Mansion, the remake, was coming out on the 3DS, I was so angry. But I started to lighten up on it when I figured out that there's a Luigi's Mansion 3, right? There's another Luigi's Mansion coming out. And... That's how I feel with Pokemon, right? So many people are angry that this isn't a traditional Pokemon game, but one is coming out next year. So, and you get one every single freaking year. You guys can wait. Like, holy crap. I've never seen so much unnecessary anger towards a game. It, it's a remake of Pokemon Yellow. And you guys are getting a new Pokemon next year, and everyone's like, oh, this isn't a real Pokemon game. I, I don't know. I don't see the anger that everyone has towards it. I, th I just think everyone has to stick up their ass, personally. But, I'm, I'm actually pretty... I like how it looks, personally. The, the thing that always pissed me off were in Pokemon were how many freaking random battles we got in. I, I personally just don't care about catching every single Pokemon. I just want to play it for the experience. So, I think this would be the perfect game for me, that you could see the Pokemon that you're going to encounter. But, like, I don't want to encounter, encounter, like, Pidgey, or Bellsprout, or Magikarp 80 freaking times in a row, you know? Like, I want to play, you know, if I catch a Magikarp, don't have to worry about battling a Magikarp again. But if there's a new Pokemon, I want to be able to go and, and battle it, and, you know, catch it. So, I think this game looks great, personally. I think it's a very, it is a very different, a very different type of Pokemon game. But it's one that I don't mind. Like, it's, 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 everyone's freaking out about it. And honestly, if I was a Pokemon fan and, you know, like, it came out like once every five years and this is the Pokemon game they're going to return with, I'd be mad too. But there's a new Pokemon game coming out next year and it's returning to the form. And you guys have had Pokemon games like every single year almost since 1998 or something like that. It's like, come on. Really? Like, everyone, saw, everyone yells at me when I freak out about Luigi's Mansion, you know, like, oh, how Luigi's Mansion not this, is not, you know, informed. And everyone's like, oh, you're just mad because it's, it's more like Dark Moon than the original. But, yeah, 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 yeah this, they do some little change to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, and the whole world freaks out. Sorry, I went on a mini rant there, but it's true. Like, the whole world is freaking out about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. Yet you guys are getting a regular game next year, and you get Pokemon every single year. Every single freaking year. Like, really. Really now. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to rant about that, but it's true. Maybe I'll make a separate video about that. But, I mean, it's it's like, wow. Okay, uh, next up. Um, I think the next notable game I have to bring up would be Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm I'm pretty excited for that game. I, I'm, just, I, I'm not as huge of a Smash fan as most people are. 
So I'm just like, oh, cool. Smash is coming out. That's pretty cool. I mean, like, so many people are, so, are like, you know, like, so, uh, that's the thing, right? The last Direct that we had, so many people were so upset that there wasn't more Smash. And I'm just like, like, really? Like, we just had E3, which was completely devoted to Smash, basically. Then we had a Smash-focused Direct where everything was Smash. And in this Direct, we still get a character reveal and the bundle announcement. And you're upset there isn't more. I mean, come on, you guys. Really? Like, like, how, like, what do you want? Sakurai has killed himself over this game. And we've already got announcements of the Inklings, of Ridley, of King K. Rule, of Isabel, Simon Belmont and Richter. Like, there's so, Dark Sims, there's so many characters being added. And you just want more and more and more and more and more. Like, holy shit, guys. Calm your tits. The game's gonna be great. It's coming out in a month. Two months. Like, damn. Calm yourselves. It's all good. Like, there might even be another Smash Direct. And there's going to be more Smash information announced. So, calm down. Actually, I can't say shit about calming down because, you know, like, Luigi's Mansion. I'm always hyped about that. Always. But I'm not to the point where I just ask for endless information. All I just want is something like the original Luigi's Mansion. Like, if they have this one mansion be like the original game where it's dark and creepy and haunted. The ghosts are spooky. That's all I want, man. That's all I care about. But Smash Brothers fans, holy shit. They're like, they want so, 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 so much. I mean, I can't say that I don't have my own wants for the game, but I'm not as bad as that. Holy crap, guys. Okay, okay, that's the last rant. I promise. That's it. We're gonna get back on track now. We're talking about the Nintendo Switch and how great it is. We're, yes, let's, let's, let's keep talking about it. Um... The next game I want to mention here, um, well, actually, there's really not many other games that have solid release dates, um, but I mean, I'm going to mention the, I'm just going to put all of these in one here, the non-release date squad, Metroid Prime 4, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, uh, uh, the new Pokemon game, uh, Bayonetta 3, well, Bayonetta 3, I can really give two shits about, but, you know, people like Bayonetta, um, but these are games that are coming out that a lot of people are Animal Crossing, I don't know how I forgot that one. Some people are excited for... You know, hold on. I remember when I said I was done with the rants. No, I'm not done yet. It pisses me off when Smash Brothers fans and Pokemon fans that I literally just ranted about get on about, oh, we need more new Pokemon. There's not enough Smash information coming out yet. yet. Hold on. Here's the Animal Crossing fans, right? They just want an announcement. They just want anything. They were grateful about the announcement that they got, that they got in the direct... That's all they wanted. Luigi's Mansion, right? We get, like, this is our third game, finally, not counting the remake. And, you know, we're fi we're happy to get it. You know, we're just happy it even exists at this point. Then there's you guys. <laughs> like, holy cow. Like, there's different breeds of Nintendo fans. Like, yes, I there's a lot of things that I want Nintendo to improve. There's a lot of things I want Nintendo to do. But I'm not like that. <laughs> like, seeing how many people are shitting on Pokemon unnecessarily, and how many people are basically jabbing uh, Sakurai, you know, with a sword. He has a double-edged sword. There's no win for him. Like, come on, you guys. You gotta be more grateful. Like, this man has basically killed himself to make these Smash Brothers games. He, I think, he even got sick because of how much he worked on the last Smash Brothers game. So, I think, you guys are just greedy. Man. Okay. Uh, what with this video not edited? It's over 30 minutes long. I'm done. I promise. This is gonna be hell to edit. Um, but I think that's really all I wanted to talk about, anyways. So I mean, thank you guys for watching. So I can really say this is a stupidly long video about the Nintendo Switch. Um, there will be um more Nintendo Switch related videos coming this week, so I guess this is, the, this is the week of Nintendo Part 2, I guess. Um, so we have, uh, obviously the Nintendo News was yesterday. Um, there's this today. Tomorrow I'm planning on putting up a Indies video, talking about the Indie games on the Nintendo Switch. Then I have Smash Brothers uh, character wants, um, just characters I'd, I'd love to see in the game. It's not something I'm gonna jab Sakurai about, but it'd just be cool to see these characters. Um, then I'm not sure about Friday, but, um, I'm gonna, I'll figure something out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Wow, 30 minutes. Uh, one of the longest videos I've made in a while that isn't a, a Zach plays. So, make sure to watch my 60 seconds, or 60 parsecs, uh, Zach plays. 
because I worked hard on that, because that because like the the audio and the video always went out of sync, so I had to constantly realign, which was annoying as hell. So I hope you don't notice that, but I worked hard on that video, so go and watch it. So until next time, guys, see you in the next video.